Hello ladies and gentlemen, what's going on? It's your boy Tom Origins here and in today's video we're talking about Rust Console Edition, the very first ever episode of a long series, Rust Console Edition. I cannot wait to make content for this game, it's amazing. So pretty much starting off, you just need to gather as much materials as possible, your stone, your wood and basic, basic materials. Uh, build a tool cupboard, build a furnace and build a sleeping bag and a chest. Those are the four main components of every good base. And also build some doors and some door locks. Um, pretty much find your good spot. I found mine right near Outpost. It was a really nice area with lots of wood and stone about. So I built right next to Outpost. It's also a great little security attachment to the house. It makes people really, really uh, scared to come near you. Because if they do attack you and Outpost catches them, Outpost will uh, wipe them clean. And you'll get some free loot, which we do see later in the video. So pretty much what you want to do is you want to build a craftsman's hammer. And you want to build a blueprint. And then pretty much after that, you're good to go. You can just start building your base, build it as big, build it as small, build it as loud, build it as crazy or as normal as, as you want, really. Mine was really basic, really simple. Nice little storage area, a nice little uh, walking space corridor with an airlock at the front of it and a nice little separate room at the back for my tool cupboard, my chest and my sleeping bag. Really nice, really easy. But midway through my build, I did spot this airdrop. So I thought I best go over there and take a look. It was right on the corner of Outpost which is really cool. So this naked in front of me here, he's running towards the airdrop. He does successfully grab it, but this player with the gear and the shotgun is destroying him. Now, I don't think that player knew about Outpost's uh, NPC turrets because when he goes to loot the body, Outpost does start firing at him and wipes him clean. And because I've not harmed anyone, I've not hurt anyone, I've not been in any fights, I go over and secure a bag. I go over there and secure the entire goddamn loot from both of these guys. And it is flawless and perfect to get a great start with three unique weapons in the game already. And it's amazing. It's really good. So I healed up, got all the gear I needed, and I started booking it back to base. And my base is literally so close to outpost. It's a great little permanent way to secure and keep my house locked down and protected. So I'm in the base. I have my wooden doors. I'm trying to stone everywhere up. Pretty much build your thatch foundations first or your, or your twig foundations first and then reinforce it with stone. Don't waste it and reinforce it with wood and then stone because it's just a waste of materials otherwise. Uh, but obviously what I recommend doing is finding as much of the supplies as possible early game before you find your settling place. And then go into outpost when you haven't got a base and build like your tool cupboard, your craft table and all the crafting items you need to craft. Build them in the safety of either bandit camp or outpost because then players cannot come and kill you. Which is awesome. So I'm smelting some stuff. It's always good to leave some stuff smelting before you leave offline. This is a really basic little tutorial just to set up and show you what I did in my first playthrough. And I managed to find a flame turret to secure my base whilst I'm offline as well. But I've got a different world now that I play on with my friend Sith and a group of others. And more episodes will be centered on that as well as combat in Rust because I didn't cover a lot of combat in the beta. But this is like a building episode. Really easy, really satisfying just being able to build things really quickly. And once you get your sort of format down and your sort of idea of how you want to build and what your style is, it's really easy to fortify a little homestead, put all your loot in there and then you can go off and have as many adventures as you want. But the combat is where most people get excited about, so there will be more combat videos coming very, very soon. But Rust has only been out for uh, literally the last two days, and I've been enjoying the hell out of it. And I'm going to go back and play some more. So, like, comment, and subscribe. I'll keep the content coming, and I'll let you guys know what happens in the next Rust episode. Ding dong the notification bell. Road to 4K subscribers. Peace. What does perfect even mean?